It all boils down to this, folks. Over 100 simulations of the Champions League between the yellow and black Borussia Dortmund and Real Madrid. Who came out on top? We'll tell you next. Right, folks, back on together with another simulation video today. It's all about the Champions League. That's right. We're going to simulate the Champions League final between Real Madrid and Dortmund over a hundred times, and of course, bring you the results in all their glory. We'll get to that in a second. Of course, if you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button. Your one-stop shop for the Champions League is right here. Also, Football Manager 2024 and Rovers, all under one roof. Ski, of course. Who's going to come out on top? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Who's going to come out on top with the simulations? Well, we're going to do that in just a second. Of course. Shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you're new, smash your subscribe. So let's get into a bit of a sampler here for you guys. Now we're going to take a look at, of course, the biggest victories for Real Madrid and Dortmund. And of course, the highest scoring game between these two in the finals, of course, from the simulations that we have done uh, over the over the past couple of days or so. So here we go. Here's Real Madrid's victory. Uh, if I can get it loaded up on the screen. 6-1, their biggest victory over Dortmund within the 100 and so simulations was a 6-1 win. That's a big win. It's a convincing win. It's a stellar win. What about Dortmund? Can they even match that? I don't think so. I think they got 5-2-1. Both seven goal thrillers in the end, but Dortmund coming out with a five goal 5-2 win. Uh, not too shabby as well. What about the highest scoring game between these two uh, in the final? Well, we did see a 4-4 draw, which of course must have ultimately ended up with a penalty shootout victory, which uh, we will reveal uh, who, who got them all of those than than the other in just a second of course so as you can see from the initial sampler yeah it's pretty interesting to see who uh, who's got the most victories was it plain sailing for Real Madrid well we're going to find out in just a tickety boo here as I load up everything so here we go we're going to start with the Germans of course have a look at their goal scorers for the, this over the course of the 100 simulations well here they come in their black and yellow that's right starting with the reveal they did score 102 goals over the course of the 100 and so simulations. Who, of course, was the top man? Get your comments in down below, but of course, I'm going to reveal it in a pretty much a minute, so we'll have a little look at it. Starting with Can, Imre Can, got himself one goal over the course of the 100 and so simulations. Oscan the same. Sule got two goals for him. Well done. Nemecha, former Preston man and Man City man, scoring in there a couple of times in the Champions League final. Duranville, two goals as well. Now, a bit of a disclaimer here. This is a pretty much a vanilla sort of Dortmund, of course. Uh, I cannot guarantee uh, who is injured in the real world or of course if there was a, a, a an extra bit of signings and stuff like that that, that, that may have been added or, or subtracted from this so I'm hoping to get as pretty close to the money as we can get it so hopefully we're right let me know your thoughts and opinions down below uh, because I, a lot some of these names are, are unfamiliar to me but uh, they might be familiar to do continuing we have Marlon Donia Marlon uh, the Dutchie there with a couple of goals of four own goals for Real Madrid players to creep quite high up in those rankings uh, Meanwhile, Sabitza got himself five goals. Uh, the former Bayern and Manchester United man from midfield. Then we got Schlotterbeck uh, chipping in with five also from the back. Hummels with six as well as we enter the power five. Of course, Hummels just missing out on the top five. Into fifth spot for Dortmund. It is Basabani. Got himself six goals, just the same as Hummels, but alphabetical order. He just squeaks into the top five. Into the power four as Adeyemi with eight goals indeed. And we're left with three then, who of course are the top goal scorers for Dortmund. You'll be thinking, oh, I know, I know who it could be but of course uh we'll see if i'm right or if i'm wrong but it's a third spot it is royce mama royce uh of course retiring or at least uh packing his bags at the end of the season from dortmund got himself 10 goals that's pretty much one in 10 meanwhile brandt julian brandt with 13 goals of course but the top man has got to be nicholas fulkrug that's right with 35 of the 102 goals that's one of the every three goals scored uh, was him. He did the business, of course. As for the red cards, there were six of them uh, in a very, very feisty Champions League. Uh, Sule got one, Marlon got one, Basabini got one, but Emma Khan got three uh, red cards. That's half of them. He got them. Of course, what about Real Madrid? Of course, they scored a whopping 193 goals. That's pretty much twice the amount. Should we continue? Should we even bother with this video? Yes, we should because there could be a couple of little surprises in here, but we're going to start with the least goal scorer. Rudiger didn't get any, but he may have got a red card. Uh, there was one own goal. Uh, one Dortmund player did put it in the back of the net for Real 
Real Madrid for one of the uh, matches. Meanwhile, Nacho got himself just one goal. Modric, only the one. Uh, Gula got himself two. Mendy got three. We've got Rodriguez with four. Tushmani got five. Uh, and then Modric got six. Of course, now we get into the power six, which includes Valverde. Got seven of the goals. Uh, power five awaits. Here we go. Into fifth spot, Camavinga. Eight goals from midfield. Into fourth spot, the unlucky for some. Alaba got himself nine from the back there. But then it's the power three. I think we all know which one, which three it is. But which order? Well, we're going to start with third. And it is Jude Bellingham. Picks himself 20 of the 193 goals. That's one in every... Uh, well, that's one in every five games or something like that, over 100 or so. But he's joined by Rodrigo with 55 goals. That's insanity. But it's it's actually uh, nothing compared to this man with 71 goals scored. Goodness gracious me. What a, what a stat. What a figure. What a number. What about the red cards? We did see six for Dortmund. But as you can see, uh, own goal got one red card. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Um, of course, Nacho got a red. Rodriguez got a red. Adam got a red. And Rodrigo. Rodrigo got two reds of course. Now I wanted to combine both the top goal scorers and the red cards in a bit of a stat table here just to showcase you who was in the top 10 and uh, how many of the top 10 were from each colour of each side really. So we'll start with the goals and Valverde squeaks into the top 10 with seven goals. Meanwhile Adeyemi is in there with eight for Dortmund. He's joined by Kamavinga with eight as uh, three of the, 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 the top seven so far are or actually two of the top seven so far our Madrid players. They're joined by Alaba with nine. So three or four now are Madrid players. Royce makes it a little bit more even. Stevens with 10 goals. Brandt makes it even. Stevens with three apiece as we enter the top four. Uh, Bellingham's in there to give them slight advantage. But full crew regains a bit of sanity there for Dortmund. But of course, the top two are wearing the white of Real Madrid, of course. No, only one. It's phenomenal numbers by them, guys. Phenomenal numbers. Let's take a look at the red cards, though. There were 12 in total. Rudiger what got one. Can got one. Or Chan got one. Nacho got one. Marlon got one. Camavinga got one. Alaba got one. Royce with Ron. Vinny Jr. got two. Sabitza got three, though. Uh, it's quite impressive. Three. So he got six of the, of the 12. Uh, so generally, I mean, Dortmund got six of the 12. Uh, Real Madrid got six of the 12. All right, then. It all boils down to this, folks. We do know that Real Madrid got a shit ton load of goals. But that means they must have won maybe a handful of them. 4-0, where Dortmund may have just won them 1-0. Nil, nil nils or penalty shootouts and stuff like that. You just don't know. It cannot be decided. You've got to wait till we break down the numbers. And that's what we're going to do now. So let's get into the cold hard meat of the facts here, of course. There was a 100 bang on simulations. I didn't bother going a little bit further. And of those 100, they were divided like so. 79 victories for Real Madrid, just 21 for uh, Dortmund. Were all of them uh, in 90 minutes or were all of them in extra time or penalties? Maybe they could be uh, stronger in one uh, avenue of the game than other. So let's just, again, it does look lopsided, very much so. But, of course, let's make a bit of clarity there. There's the losses for you. Uh, of course, let's take a look at the games that were won within 90 minutes. 74 of them. Were they all Real Madrid or were they all, you know, were they divided up a little bit more? Well, no, they were a lot were, were Real Madrid. Seven, 60 of the 74 were at Real Madrid's wins within 90. Just 14 uh, were uh, won by Dortmund, which means, we could do a bit quick math there, seven were, were won by Dortmund out of out of uh, out of ninety minutes, and of course we're going to reveal that now. We can do the, the subtractions; it's pretty easy. Uh, Thirteen games went uh, into extra time, and okay, it's getting a little bit closer there. Eight victories for Real Madrid, just five wins for Dortmund, and of course penalties though. Thirteen also. Uh, and again, very much in the flavour of Real Madrid. Eleven victories for penalties, just two for Dortmund. It's not looking good, is it really? I think each of the stats will go overwhelmingly so in favour of Real Madrid. We've got uh, six, uh, 26 games ended up in extra time or penalties. 19 in favour of Real Madrid and 7, of course, for Dortmund. It's not good. It's not good stats. And, of course, we already know the goals. Insanity. Nearly 300 goals scored over the course of the simulations. 193 for Real Madrid and 102. For Dortmund. So what does that mean? Well, it means uh, it's going to be a monstrously tall order for Dortmund to get anything out of this game. However, it is in a neutral venue. Of course, Dortmund have uh, done about this quite tricky. They took care of Atletico Madrid in the real world. They took care of PSG in the real world. They came out of the group of death. Now they're up against the uh, the, the, the forever, forever present 
always there or thereabouts Real Madrid who will want another add another trophy to the column. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to maybe take a look at this uh, as a as a as a predictor in another video. But I just wanted to know what the computer, the supercomputer, says. And the supercomputer overwhelmingly says uh, Real Madrid are going to win another trophy.